Speaker, we've just heard the suggestion that some programs might be better if only the program sponsors could discriminate in employment. We haven't heard those arguments for over 40 years before this administration came in. Let's talk about, when you say protect civil liberties, what liberties you're protecting. You're protecting somebody's right to tell somebody they can't get a job because of their religion. If you can discriminate against someone because of their religion, racial discrimination laws are essentially un cannot be enforced. So who are you protecting? You're protecting the one trying to discriminate. The victim of discriminate loses all protection. The children of families of unpopular religions will, will ask their parents why they couldn't get a job in the Head Start program and will have to be told that they're not hiring people of our religion. Just what kind of Head Start is that? Proponents are saying that the Head Start, we lose opportunities. We have plenty of opportunities in Head Start. All we have to do is fund it more, and there will be plenty of opportunities for Head Start programs. There's also been a suggestion you might have to take icons off the wall. If the icons have to be taken down, it's because of a violation of the Establishment Clause of the Constitution. And let me tell you, passing a motion to recommit will not, will not solve a, a violation of the Establishment Clause. Forty years ago, race discrimination was found to be so, race and religious discrimination was found to be so reprehensible that we made it illegal even with your private funds. Now we have a plea to, 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 to protect the people trying to discriminate we not, and not the victims of discrimination. We need to leave the law the way it's been for the last 40 years, protect, the discrim protect our laws. I yield the gentleman an additional 30 seconds. Thank you. We need to keep the laws the way they've been for the last 40 years. We can keep the anti-discrimination laws, and those programs, any program that can get funded with this faith-based initiative amendment could be funded anyway if you just comply with the anti-discrimination laws that have been in effect for the last 40 years. We ought not have to tell our children why certain parents can't get a job at a program because we're failing to protect the civil rights victim of discrimination, because all of a sudden we're interested in the civil rights of the person trying to discriminate. Mr. Speaker, a few weeks ago, uh, Don, Don Imus provoked a national discussion about race, but that was just talk. If we pass this amendment, we'll take action and turn the clock back before 1965. This amendment doesn't allow programs to, uh, to get fund this program doesn't allow faith-based programs to get funded. The Heath Amendment that we passed reminds us that faith-based organizations can and do fund, uh, sponsor uh, Head Start programs. The fact is that any program that can be funded under this amendment could be funded anyway if they would agree not to discriminate in employment. It has nothing to do with symbols. It would, it's absurd to suggest that this has anything to do with symbols. Whatever problem there is with symbols is a constitutional problem that cannot be solved with a motion to recommit. This is all about discrimination, and if you can discriminate based on religion, it has racial implications. And so since 1960s, and for 40 years, when you talk about civil liberties, you're talking about the victims of discrimination. We decided 40 years ago that it was so reprehensible to discriminate in employment that we made it illegal even with your own private money. And today, as we talk about discrimination, we ought to think about the victims, not the right of the person to discriminate against the victim. Uh, the, um, the present law allows church to use its own church money, as the gentleman from Missouri said, to, do any, to, to, uh, to, dis to hire who they want. But with federal money, just with the federal money, you have not been able to discriminate. So for 40 years... All children in Head Start programs have learned that their parents are eligible to be hired by the Head Start program regardless of the race or religion of the program. They've known that for over 40 years. This amendment will determine what the next generation of Head Start students will learn. We need to defeat this amendment. I, uh, I urge my colleagues to vote against this uh, motion to recommit and not adopt the policy of the the employment discrimination fired. based upon religion. I yield back the balance. Without of my objection, time. the previous question is ordered. The question is on the motion to recommit. All those in favor will say aye. aye. All those opposed, no. No. The noes have it.